Hey guys, so this is the second vlog of my bridal series. So if you read by the title, with this vlog today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys what all I am putting in my bridesmaids proposal boxes, as well as how I'm going to propose. So all of my bridesmaids know somebody, but like everybody doesn't know everybody. So I want to do it in a way that um, everybody can just get to know each other and just kind of mingle and talk and all of that. So I decided to do a girls night. So everybody thinks they're just coming to my house tomorrow for just like a regular just girls night in or whatever. But um, I'm actually gonna give them their boxes um, tomorrow night. So the extra side of me like this is supposed to be like such a simple thing. I was originally gonna just do like a t-shirt and like a little card that says like, will you be my bridesmaid or maid of honor? Like whatever the title was. And I was just gonna like mail it to everybody and be done. But like as the days and weeks went by and then like I said, I came up with the idea of wanting everybody to get to mingle with each other. I just got more and more extra throughout the whole thing. I decorated and yeah, I even blew up balloons. Like you can kind of see the balloons behind me. Cause my colors are navy blue and rose gold. So I have navy blue and rose gold balloons and some gold balloons and then these little clear ones with confetti in it. I'm gonna show you guys how I decorate it first and then I will show you guys what's all in my proposal boxes. So when they first come in, I have these little tassels here. These tassels actually came with my um, Miss to Mrs. box. I didn't know what I was going to use them for, for when I first got them, but they ended up coming out perfect. And the fact that they came with rose gold, that goes perfect with my colors. So I got this tablecloth from Target. Um, it's like a pinkish blue iridescent, but this table is bare because this is where the food is going to go. So I'll have the food laid out on this tomorrow. got these from Target as well, these little ring um string of rings i got those from target and this is going to be my drink area here this also came in my miss to mrs box again i didn't know what i was going to do with it but again it went perfect for my girls night i just blew it up and i just got it sitting on the back of my couch so this here this is going to go outside on my door i bought taboo so we can have a game to play just like icebreakers and stuff. Um, these are my balloons. I have balloons on top of my TV stand. One of the clear balloons actually popped. So when it popped, all the confetti flew out. So I just put it up there for extra decoration. All of my balloons are sitting over here in this corner. I'll probably kind of throw them out a little bit more tomorrow once um, like the party starts or whatever. But as of right now, they're just all in this corner. And then up here, guys, these are my bridal boxes. And then I have coordinators. So these are gonna be my boxes for my coordinators. Okay, guys, so here is one of my boxes. So before I show you guys what's all in the boxes. So I was trying to figure out, so once I decided I was gonna have a girls night, I was trying to figure out how I was still gonna give it to them. Like, am I just gonna pass them out? Like. I had no idea what I was gonna do. So I didn't wanna just hand it to them. So the extra side of me decided to do a PowerPoint. So I created this whole PowerPoint. So basically it's just gonna be like a main screen on there. It's like eat, enjoy, whatever we will start once everyone gets here. And so basically I have it written out. Um, you know what, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm just gonna show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's in my boxes. And then after I show you what's in my boxes, I'll play the little presentation I have. It's not long at all, it's only like a minute and a half-ish. But, um, so yeah. I will show that I may not even play the whole thing just like the first part so you can get the gist of what I'm gonna do so um so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get into my boxes so my aunt she actually like designs she puts like designs on clothes shoes ornaments like whatever you want she can do it so I had her do all of my boxes for me she actually really surprised me because I just wanted her to do like I was gonna do a shirt robe and then like a wine glass and that was it but she was like you want me to box it up for you you want me to put their names on it like all of that stuff so I was like sure so she found these rose gold um boxes and so this is one of my bridesmaids here 
okay so guys this is the first box well this is one of the boxes so like I said she did a rose gold um she boxed them in rose gold for me I know it looks kind of silver on camera but it's rose gold and then put their names in um navy blue in the corner okay so guys I actually made these myself I just went on Pixar and um chose the background put the wording on there and I just end up printing these off at like Walgreens so all of them have a will you be my bridesmaids or maid or honor or matron of honor um, so everybody has one of these that's tailored to their title and then just a little save the date this isn't isn't my official save the date this was just something really quick that I put together just to put something in the box because as you can see the TE like got cut off so it just says save the doll <laughs> But yeah, so this is what they'll see when they first open it. Okay, so next guys, I wrote everybody a little personal note. So this is a little envelope. I got these envelopes from Target. I think they came with like 12 in the pack. So I just wrote everybody a little note and put it in here. I got these off of Amazon. So they say, I can't tie the knot without you. And then it came with a rose gold bracelet um, that's kind of in a shape of a knot. So I actually want them to wear the bracelet um, the day of the wedding. I put little personal bottles of rum chata in everyone's. And this is one of the um, champagne glasses that my aunt made. So it says bridesmaid on it. And then in the box, I just have the rum chata just sitting in there. So I got this off of Amazon as well. It came with this little black box. And it is a flask. It is a rose gold flask. With a little sparkly top. This is the t-shirt that my aunt made. So everybody has a navy blue t-shirt with again their title on the front of it. And then everyone has a navy blue robe with their title on the back of it and their name on the front of it. My aunt also ships, she ships anywhere in the US and she also ships internationally. So if you do like those shirts, the rope, whatever, if you want her to make you some type of bridal bundle, you can pretty much pick whatever you want to put in there and she will customize it for you. I will um, link her Facebook down below. I'll try to link it on here as well if I can. And um, yeah, go check her out. So like I also said, I have coordinators too. So I got them bags, they don't have boxes, they have bags. So they both have a bag like this. When they first look inside of it, they have a card as well. It says, will you be my coordinator? And then they also have a little janky save the date as well. I'm like really enjoying going through everybody's stuff. Like I just can't wait to give it to them, but I've like really been enjoying just like going through everything. Uh, they got bracelets as well that says, I can't tie the knot without you. Now I ordered their shirts off of Amazon um, because I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do. So, um, I just ordered theirs from Amazon. So they have navy blue shirts that say wedding coordinator on there. And then they each have Starbucks cups. So this one has a um, clear Starbucks cup. So she typically drinks a lot of cold drinks. So I got her the iced cup and it has her name going up here and it says coordinator going around there. Um, I got this from Amazon as well. And then the second box is the exact same thing. I just got her a different Starbucks cup. I got her a hot cup. And I actually just realized 
it has her initials on the lid. I didn't even realize that the first time I opened this. So her initials are ALT. I don't even remember putting her initials in when I did this, but I mean, I guess I had to. But yeah, so it has her initials right here on the lid. Yeah, so her name is up there. And then it says, no, no, it actually doesn't. So it has coordinator written on the back. And then I didn't want to do like team bride, bride squad, bride crew. Like I didn't want to do that. So I came up with bride base or bride's base. So along the bottom of it, it says bride's bay. Well, bride's bay. This is my little setup that I have in the corner. And I have my coordinator bags over my boxes because their names are in the corner. So I know this little area is gonna draw a lot of attention. So I don't want anyone coming over here and seeing their names because we will not get started until everyone gets here. So guys, today is the day of my um, bridal proposal party. But like I said, I told everybody that it's just gonna be like a girl's night in. So everybody thinks they're just coming over just to chill, hang out, whatever. But once everyone gets here, that's when I will start my presentation that I have up here on the TV. I have my camera so that I can just capture everybody's reaction. Um, again, there go the gifts. So I have everything set up. But y'all, I'm so excited. Like two people, I'm like, I can't wait to see their reaction because they have no idea. Like they think that they're just coming over. Like they know that I'm having a, um, this is gonna be like my bridal proposal party, but they have no idea that they're gonna be in the wedding. They just think that I invited them to, you know, whatever, come on, chill, because we're all cool or whatever. But those two reactions, I really can't wait to see. And only one person actually knows that they're gonna be in the wedding, but she has no idea of like all of this. So guys, I will be back with the update of my proposal party when it's over.